consolidation. And I said, so what are you trying to do, force them into this? He said, no, they've come to us. How do we help? And just to think of, um, I can well imagine what you folks are going through uh, and the decisions that you've had to wrestle with. Uh, just try being the chair of uh, school aid right now with all of the schools begging for money. It's not really pleasant. Uh, in fact, uh, I, I have to, as an aside, a uh, couple of things. I, I noted that you did not put three minutes on here for us. That was a mistake. <laughs> And secondly, is um, with the uh, addition of, uh, of Superintendent Menzel, you almost cost your ISD their entire budget as you stole them from me. <laughs> and so I had kindly threatened them, but evidently you came up with still a better offer. But just not, but a couple hours ago I was with his replacement and uh, now here to see Scott again. So we, we are very good friends, but he really had to dance for that money. I just want you to know that. Uh, but, but again, to make this kind of a decision, and you know, the irony is, though it's been talked about for many years in many different arenas, when the representative, and by the way, what a class act you have here, uh, the way he has worked with us uh, and his colleagues to bring this to light, to sell this. But the first question asked is, what have we done or are we the impediment? And I guess I have to say, in part, with your wisdom to go forward, we were the enemy. And if it had not been before this representative, we would still be the enemy. And that was just through the very laws that we have. When we sit there and talk about it, we did not have anything in place to help you immediately. And for that, I'm actually ashamed. We did and have been speaking directly to the charters in this issue. Very reasonable request. We are talking about the financing. But more than anything, just your ability to sit down together and truly look for what is the value to our kids? We are in tough times. There is no question about it. I can't seem to fit all in excess of 500 school districts in one clean box when I'm doing a budget. We still have schools from a one-room schoolhouse to 67,000 students. And everybody expects all of you to just make it nice and tidy and let's get them educated. So again, I just want to applaud the superintendent, you folks in particular, and this representative for bringing this forward. And I really do believe by taking this step, you will set that precedent. The rest of them will never be able to say that had it not been for you folks, we probably would not and could not have done this. And I know that's a load on your shoulders, but it's the right thing to do for the kids in your district. So for that, I will be forever grateful. And we have been working diligently with the school board, the superintendent Flanagan, the governor's office, and had, have had a lot of meetings. And there is just absolutely a lot of interest, and you heard the superintendent speak earlier, that he actually has more power than I thought he did. Uh, <laughs> but I still, I can one up <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> But I have to disclose also, we will one-up them. I didn't realize it, but as a freshman, we stopped time. <laughs> yes, we did. We turned off the clock and said it really didn't count. It wasn't past midnight. So it took three people to start the clock again the next morning. And I, and I do kind of jest in this because it, it is very serious, but you have to take a lighter side, too. We're trying to do what is good. And contrary to some of the things we've all heard, uh, all read about, especially as we just went through a primary, uh, and thank you for making it through that one. Uh, but uh, uh, again, please, we want to help you, and you can help us. Thank you. Rogers, Representative Rutledge, thank you once again uh, for coming out and supporting our efforts and uh, we look forward to working cooperatively with you in the future.
as we seek to find the best ways possible to educate all of our children. Thank you once again. I echo David Bates on coming out and speaking with us today. We really appreciate it. Now we will open the floor to public comments. A reminder to please limit your comments to three minutes or less, and please state your name and school district.
The propositions attached here too as Exhibit A shall be submitted to the electors of the district at the regular 